All right, so I was going to talk about Harvey Weinstein and R. Kelly, but I actually think that I may be a more interesting subject. So I began my study because I noticed that academic texts didn't really reflect the experiences of people like me, mainly black women. When we're talking about race, it's typically black men. When we're talking about gender, it's typically black, I meant, um, it's typically white women. So I wonder where do black women fit into the picture? So I came across a concept um, during my graduate program called the Trap of Loyalty, um, which describes the cultural and emotional exploitation of black women. It's one of the few times I've ever seen a term that, ex that focused on black women's exclusive experience. Um, the, the trap of loyalty has three defining qualities. The first is that black women are more privileged than black men. And this idea stems from the erasure of black women's experiences from both anti-racism and feminist movements throughout history and presently. The second defining quality is that black women are expected to endure their abuse in silence. Since racism ascribes negative traits to the entire black community, black people are very hyper aware of speaking about any negative issues within the community. The third defining quality is that black women are expected to buffer their families from racism. Being black is seen as the primary identity and because um, that is the primary identity, black issues are supposed to be at the forefront. However, black issues means black men's issues, so black women's gender issues are often erased. My study seeks to answer the question, in what ways are, is the black woman's experience in the United States today defined or not defined by the trap of loyalty? Mm -hmm. I ended up interviewing eight black women, and my study found that black women do not believe they're more privileged than black men. They, they experience racism from both white men and white women, but sexism from all men, but especially black men. I also found that black women are expected to endure their abuse in silence, and this endurance of abuse is linked to how black women view themselves in social situations. Um, black women, black, my participants had an issue being called victims, although they explained their victimization over and over again. The third defining quality that black women are expected to buffer their families from racism was also found to be true in my interviews. Um, black women saw that, felt that their issues were being erased for black men's issues and leaving them more vulnerable to abuse. Um, the trap of loyalty helps provide a little bit of insight into black women's, um, <clears throat> into black women's experiences, um, given that our issues are often erased or ignored. While this is a presentation about black women, I also saw it as a presentation about me. It's very disheartening to see the erasure of black women's experiences from American, um, <clears throat> from history and currently in the news. So um, in, in the process of my study, I was left with the question that I'd like to present to all of you. What does it say about our society that we, we continuously ignore the groups of people who show up time and time again for everyone else?